Are you sure? Yeah, of course you're sure. You're a doctor. Well, wow, right, I just need a minute. I just need a minute. Wow. Well, are, you, are you sure it's me? Sorry, yeah. Um, wow, five, five minutes ago. Oh, it's just an old day, and now, uh, now there's a chance I might be father again. Wow. Howard? Wow. Breeze. Yeah, show you what, I've been out of the game for a while. I'm back now and I'm sharper than ever. Yeah, if you need it, I'm your man. Sorry, fella. Sorry. But have, have I ever let you down, fella? Those fags? That was ages ago, man. It was a one-off, dodgy supplier. And if I knew they were 50% sawdust, I'd never have sold them, yeah. All right, then, well, what's your pleasure? Can you use this, please, love? Thank you. Uh, OK, then, yeah, I could probably get my hands on some quality single malt as it goes. Now, it'll be Slovakia in mind. I'll be so, Cobb. Two ticks, Dad. You have a ponder, and then get back to me ASAP, cos I've got a list longer than your arm, mate. I'm not joking. Not joking. <laughs> All right, wicked, man. See you later. Bye-bye. Yours. You don't like you love a drink, you do. I'll be. I don't know if you don't try, do you? Yeah, and if Mrs. Tenby catches you. Don't make a difference. She's my best customer. Look, I have patience, and um, I think you need some time. So, we'll talk later. Hello, hey, don't go. I need to throw up. So I suppose there's no point in asking if you've been keeping out of trouble. Are you got any trouble? I call it being an entrepreneur. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think Lord Sugar made his fortune from selling knockoffs, did he? Thought we've got to start somewhere, Doc. <laughs> right. So uh, what brings you in today? I've um, run out the old inhaler. Okay. All right. You haven't been in for a couple of months. You uh, you know we have to monitor your asthma. I've been busy, Anna. Places to go and people to see and that. Any difficulty breathing? No. Tightness in the chest? Nothing. Any trouble with work? How's your sex life? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Um, picture of health. Right, I'll sort you out a prescription, but I, I want to check you over, test your peak flow. I don't want to waste your time. Mm -mm. <coughs> How are you going to run away from the store detectives if you're not 100%? Quick house, then. All right. Mm. Are you looking for me? No. She needs some fresh air. Anything wrong? I'm just tired. Can I help? Better get back. Another deep breath in for me and hold it. And out. Just one more. Uh, drop your shirt. So what's going on, yeah? Well, I think we found the reason why your peak flow is reduced. You've got a chest infection, and that's why your asthma's flared up. Infection? You can't catch it, though, can you? No, nah, we'll be able to sort it with antibiotics. Work it. So you're 18 now? Yeah, I just turned last month. All right, so you won't be at Stanbury House anymore? No, not anymore. No I've got a, got a gaff of my own on Bruton Road. Number? Uh, 46. Um, what sort of care support are you getting? Support? Joking, aren't you? Since you turn 18, you're out of there. That's it. Left to fend for yourself. What about your personal advisor? Next to useless, man. She's either off with stress or she's too sick or something. Hmm. Would you let me talk to them? About what? 
Well, oh, because you're not looking after yourself. You've lost weight. No, love. Cut out the chocolate and crisps for breakfast, Anna. Come on, Abby. I'm worried about you. Don't be dark. I'm fine. Never been better. Right. Mind how you go. Look after yourself. Heavily dyslexic, you see. It's mumbo jumbo in my head. Anyway, no harm done, eh? My day goes, sweetheart. G I am not your sweetheart! Anyway, look. Wait! Um, kettle's not on, Mrs. Tembe. You're sleeping. That is not my job. I mean, of course you know I'm glad to be back, but I mean, you have got to ask yourself, are we even going to need places like this once the NHS embraces the potential of personalised medicine? So you're saying the Human Genome Project is going to make us all redundant? Well, who's going to need a GP when a single drop of blood can tell a computer what conditions you're genetically prone to and prescribe the most effective treatment, all in a matter of seconds? Oh, uh, can I have your attention, please? I have an important announcement. I have been looking at the budget for Project Happiness and I'm very pleased to say that we have enough money for a guest speaker or facilitator, so, uh, any suggestions? Yeah, I've got an idea, Mrs Tambay. Yes, Dr Heskey. Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> <laughs> Is she an inspirational speaker? Well, not as such, but... She always puts a smile on my face. <laughs> Can we have some sensible suggestions, please? <sighs> OK, um, what about someone from the sports world? They could talk about how they um, prepare, how they get their drive, how they prepare the mental, physical... Yeah, no, no, that is an excellent idea. OK, I'll ask around who's available. Thank you, Dr Clay. Project Happiness, it sounds like Orwell's 1984. Oh, uh, no, that reminds me. You need your happiness questionnaires. I will photocopy some and hand them to you today. Great. I love a question, eh? <laughs> Sid, you ready, mate? Oh, yeah. Of somewhere nice? Oh, uh, the new Thai place. Thought we tried their green curry. Bon appétit. <laughs> Excuse me, Jimmy. Hmm? Oh, sorry. No. Someone cleaned out the fridge. Uh, well, not that I know of. Why? It's my lunch. Homemade tagliatelle. Top shelf blue lunchbox. OK, if somebody's taking it, would you please tell me now? Are we saying that someone has stolen my lunch? No one's going to have done that. I, uh, I think I may know who is responsible. I saw one of Dr Clay's patients in here earlier. What, who? Albie Cobb. Who is Albie Cobb? Yeah, he's one of my patients. He's, um, he's had a difficult upbringing. He spent his life in care. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that he's a thief. I did first meet him at the police station. What was he there for? Burglary. <sighs> yeah, but I mean, maybe he'd better food if he was desperate. He wouldn't have touched anything else. No, 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 but my Grey's Anatomy was right here. Sure? Yeah, I was going to brush up on my neuroanatomy over lunch. Uh, the, uh, the radio's also missing. Right, I'm phoning the police. Hi, uh, Heston. Um, let me speak to Alvin myself. If he has taken the things, I'll, I'll get them back. I'll call the police myself, too. Chance, I'm going to call the police. Sorry, the police is such a mess, man. I had to let the cleaner go. <laughs> Haven't I always stood by you? Yeah, and I'm grateful for that, Doc. So grateful you steal from where I work? It depends what you mean by steal, doesn't it? 
All right, what if I just, what if I brought it back tomorrow then? All of it, cross my heart. No, no more games, just give it to me now. R right, f fine, I I'll get it, just, just, just stay right there then, yeah? Is that? My girlfriend. She who? No. Look, it's, it's under control. It's me or the police. Was it? Did you get rid? No, uh, not exactly. Oh, brilliant. Oh, no, oh. I'm, I'm sorry, but he was going to call the police, wasn't he? So. You can't be here. Not now. Oh, oh. Is, it, oh. is, it, is this normal or what? How should I know? I ain't never done this before, have I? I'm a doctor. Please, just let me help you. I told you going to surgery was too risky. Oh. I, I know this isn't oh. how you planned it, and oh. the, but he's here now. He can help us out, can't he? We don't need him. We don't need anyone. Oh. It's all about you now. Are you coping? I'm not. I'm not eating properly. I can't focus on my work. I'm barely sleeping. It's, it's all I can think about. Well, that's understandable. I never thought in a million years that I would get pregnant. <laughs> I mean... I'm at that age when I, I should be thinking about hot flushes, not contraception. I mean, the child I do have is nearly 30. Hey. You're not alone. I'm going to be by your side every step of the way, no matter what. Take some of the pain for you, I would, honestly. Oh. Uh, yeah, look, oh. have some of this, it'll keep your strength up, won't oh. it? Oh. Just wanted it to be perfect for you, you know what I mean? Uh, well, I'm glad you're here, though, cos it says nothing about having babies in them books. Albie, tell me you're not thinking of putting her in there. Well, that's what she wanted, and what Kim wants, Kim gets. Oh. There are way better facilities in the maternity unit. Yeah, but she wanted a home birth. You seriously think this is an okay place to bring a child into the world? All right, well, it's not Buckingham Palace, but it's our home. You're still here. How long have you been having contractions? Start when Abby went off. And how long have the contractions None lasted? None of your business. Babe, please. Seems like forever. Oh, I don't know, a minute? We weren't expecting this, not today. Well, when's the due date? I don't know, we thought it was a few weeks away. You thought? Abby, tell me she's seen the midwife. <laughs> Antenatal classes, scans. No, why not? Well, why do you think? We've both been put in care. We've both been in trouble with the law. So? My mate had a baby. As soon as he was born, they took him right off her. Yeah, and her baby's not being put into the system, I'll tell you that. No way. Social services aren't the enemy. They're there to help you. Oh, yeah, because they've helped us a bunch, haven't they, Doc? Passed us from one crummy care home to the other until we're 18 and dumped out on the streets. Yeah, that is exactly the reason why you're going to need all the help you can get. No, we don't need any help, thanks. We're fine. We're solid. Just the three of us. We'll be happy family. <laughs> Kim? You right. oh. What's going on? I think my water's just broke. Oh. 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 Hello. Now, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? I'll, uh, I'll get you a new one. Give me your phone, now! <sighs> oh, fine, you want to play stupid? Well, I passed the phone box on the high street, I'll so... Albie, get our stuff. We're getting out of here. Then why? Where are you going to go? Somewhere you can't find us. You're going to deliver the baby on the street, are you? Oh, yeah, if you have to. <sighs> Oh. Fine, okay, I will not call anyone as long as you let me help you. Fine. How far on are you? Thirteen weeks. About three months. Hey? I missed a couple of periods. I didn't think anything of it. I mean, it's not unusual at my age. The problem is... If we don't make a decision soon, it rather narrows our options. What do you mean? If we decide to end the pregnancy. Well, is that what you're thinking? Oh! 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 Come on, man, surely there's something you can give her. No, 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 I'm, so, I'm really sorry. No, I've got nothing I can give you at all. Um, you just need to concentrate on your breathing, okay? So a deep breath in through your nose, the beginning of the contraction, 
and out through your mouth. Uh, we need to examine you, okay? So you lie back for me. Oh! What is it? Something's wrong. Tell me! What's going on? Um, I think the baby's head's in the wrong position. What's up, man? Could be a breach. Yeah, but there's something you can do, though. Yeah. Well, yeah. Usually we would uh, we would try and move the baby back into the normal position. Well, what are you waiting for? I can't. I can't do anything. It's too late. The labour's already started. I need to know how far advanced the labour is. Okay. So um, I need to do an internal exam. Well, what are you waiting for then? No gloves. I'm sorry. It's not my fault. Yeah, I wanted this to be perfect. It's all right. Oh. It's going to be fine. Yeah. Our own family, everything we dreamt of, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. Oh. 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 Right, you're fully dilated. That's, that's a good thing, though, yeah? Uh, yeah, um, but it's definitely a breach, so you really should be in the hospital. No, 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 that's not going to happen. Oh, I'm having this baby heal with or without your help. Oh. I'm not an obstetrician. Yeah, but I trust you. I can oh. do it. We have to be realistic, Howard. I mean, we're not teenagers. We've both got careers, our own lives. And it's not like you can call our relationship stable. We didn't plan this. I mean, why would we? I'm far too old. Don't be daft. Plenty of women have babies instead of forces nowadays. True. But we can't ignore the risks of abnormalities. Besides, I was a lousy mother the first time round. Chris turned out to be a fine young man. Whatever you decide. I'll stand by you. I suppose it's just... Termination seems the most sensible thing to do. Oh. Stay calm. It's nice oh. and calm, OK? Oh. 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 Thank you. No, it's just a waiting game now, OK? I'm going to uh, gonna listen to the baby. Oh. I should know some like this when I... I'm going right now, friends. There's something wrong. Tell me! Oh, the baby's heart is strong. There's no signs of distress. I can't do this! Oh, oh, oh. Tim, you do really well. Oh, it hurts too much! Tim, relax. Oh. Albert, sit down. Take oh, that. Please! Please, make the pain stop! Okay, listen to me. Listen to me. I need you to focus, okay? Think about the baby you're going to be holding in your arms after all of this is over. Yeah, just hold on to that thought. And Albie, I need you to focus. We're going to do this, I might need your help. Oh, I'm running out! All right, Kim, you can push. Oh, push for me, push. darling, push. You must hate me. What? For putting you in this position. I hate you. I think you're wonderful. I have done since the first day I met you. Besides, it took two of us to get us into this position. So, what do you think about a termination? Worth is what you want. Really? I thought you'd have strong feelings on the subject. Well, whatever you decide, I'm sure it's the right thing. Look. Anything you want, anything at all, I'm here for you. Oh, you don't know how reassuring that is to hear. I mean, an unplanned pregnancy. Most men would run a mile. Well, I'm not most men. I know. The thing is, the one thing I need, you can't give to me. More time. Okay, hey, chin on your chest. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. One big breath for me. Oh, um, push. Oh, oh, it feels like my inside. 
guys are gonna fall out. Keep it going, oh. keep it going, keep it going. Come on, you're doing this, darling, you're doing it. And rest. I can't do this. Okay, nearly there, nearly there. Okay? Do so well, so well. But right, this is the final effort, okay? Just one big push for me. Oh. Breathe, keep it going, keep it going, keep your chin in your chest, keep it going. Oh. You can do this, come on. Push, 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 push. Keep big push. push. Keep push. Come on. Oh. One big push. You did it. You did it. Congratulations. You have a beautiful baby girl. Ned. It's not just pasta. It's topped with the last of my pecorino papato. <laughs> yeah, but I'm sure you can just replace it. You can't get it from any old supermarket. It was sourced from a lovely village in the Tuscan foothills. Ah, a Dr. Carter, Dr. V. Are these your happiness questionnaires? Oh, yes. Um, the aim of this is... Uh, uh, to assess your well, personal happiness goals. I can assess my personal happiness goals in three words. Peace and quiet. Inspired. Uh, peace and quiet. Thank you, Dr. Carter. So beautiful. And then look at her little fingers, look. You have a name for her, yeah? Angelica Grace. Because she's our little miracle. All right, I'll, uh, I'll go and fetch the car. What for? Well, Kim and Angelica will need to be checked over at the hospital. Oh, what, so then social services can stick the noses in, yeah? No, they, they only want what's best for you and Angelica. By taking her away? What, well, need me like that? Well, you can guarantee that then, yeah? No, didn't think so. Look, if you uh, if you come with me now, it'll show that you you want to be responsible parents. I can vouch for you. Yeah, I think we'll take a chance on our own, thanks. Kim, you heard him. Let's go on then. Report us. We'll be long gone by the time so she'll get here anyway. Can't we talk about this? Go pack our bags. I'll be. No, never heard of it. That's because it's one of the best kept secrets in town. But don't take my word for it, ask the party queen. I was just telling Sid about the Helix. Thought I'd take him out Saturday night. Oh, I'm sure Sid's got plenty of other things he'd rather be doing. Well, there is this really interesting new plan at the ref. But I told him that a night on the town Aussie rules would be much more fun. Um, why don't you come? I've got other plans. Probably just as well. Shining crap our style. <laughs> nah, nah, you stay home. Wash your hair. I'll show Sid what having a good time is all about. <laughs> Kim, please. No. Look, uh, you want Angelica to have a better life than you, I get that, but... Just shut up. If you try and go it alone now, you'll be looking over your shoulder constantly. Albie will look after us. What if he's not around to look after you? He wouldn't do that. What if he doesn't have a choice? Well, what if he gets arrested and he goes to jail? I mean, come on, all his cons, his shoplifting. His luck's gonna run out at some point. You've got no family, no support. How are you gonna bring up Angelica on your own? I thought you were different. Why are you trying to turn her against me? I'm not, I'm trying to help. Well, we don't need any help. Can't you see? No, not from you, not from anyone. Babe. Now go on, get lost, do one. Albie, he's right. It's not just about us anymore. Yeah, I know, but still. Let's... Gotta do the right thing. On oh. her. Yeah, I know. I'll fetch the car. I was thinking of a session of quiet contemplation. Well, that would really fit the bill. What a cancellation. What a tomorrow. Oh, well, that would be wonderful. 
No, uh, we look forward to seeing you then. Uh, of course, goodbye. Okay, the car's outside. Albie, Kim. Mr. Bellamy, I was just about to lock up. It's all right, you go. I'll lock up. Right. Well, then, good night. Good night. Howard? Hmm. I um, just wanted to ask if there's anything I can do. You know. You gonna be all right? Yeah. We could have dinner tonight. I just want a quiet night. Yeah, of course. Well, look, if you need to talk, you know, any time, just call me. Thanks for being so understanding. I promise I won't leave you hanging as soon as I... It's all right, take your time. It would help if I knew what you wanted. I just want what you want. Has anyone complained about the work I'm doing? No. Right, then I am very happy with my contribution. I'm not going to keep covering for you. Up to you. Anything that happens to me, though, happens to you too. Basically, what I'm going to do today is give you an introduction to meditation. It's your baby too? <sighs> yeah, but, you know, you don't want to miss out on being a dad. Placing that golden wall hopes are high, the